Hello everyone, this is Gabriel with Stealth Products. Uh, I wanted to create this short video. Uh, I was uh, working with two children yesterday uh, doing assessments. One was a two-year-old and a three-year-old. Um, and was really impressed with our new iDrive system. It, uh, a couple of the features that we're offering now with it um, really took the stress out of the assessment with the family. We're running into problems with equipment, uh, mainly uh, chairs and uh, and other devices, but it still didn't stop us from assessing uh, the child. Um, one of the ch one of the children on a uh, on a uh, a mat on a mat assessment um, chair table. I'm sorry, and so I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about what we did uh, in this assessment. So this is pretty much what I had here that's on the table. I had our battery uh, that we're offering now. This is of course our new Bluetooth interface. Uh, and in, in this assessment, we, uh, we tried a couple of different switches. We tried proximity sensor and a mechanical. Uh, and then we ended up uh, also trying a joystick. So I'm going to show you how we did all that without a chair. Uh, so again, I was uh, on an assessment table uh, with the family. We got some bean bags and put it around the child and to put the switches near um, uh, his hand. Uh, and we're able to assess it. So, you know, again, this is a standard 12 volt battery that's gonna power up our interface. Nine pin plugs into a nine pin uh, right here. Again, nothing's plugged into the interface right now. So we're gonna open up the software here. We're gonna go into diagnostic view. Pulls up the diagnostic view right here. And uh, you can see it activating right here on the diagnostic view. So again, this is not on a chair, but it's got a 12 volt battery, which is thinking it's on a chair. And it's got the diagnostic view so I can start to do uh, different types of uh, features to it. So we're going to plug in a sensor now. I've got a sensor right here. We're going to plug this one into port 1. And I'm going to plug something into port 5 also so we can just mess around with some different features here and kind of see how everything works, okay? So how I have everything programmed right now is, oh, I have everything plugged in right now. I have two sensors and a mechanical switch. Here's the mechanical switch. The mechanical switch is doing right. Here's the uh, uh, proximity sensor plugged in five is doing forward. And then here is doing, here's a sensor plugged in uh, to port one and it's doing left right now. So right now, I, the assessment that I did with the child yesterday, we used two proximity sensors and we just wanted to do cause and effect stop and go. And we were able to do that with, this, with the parents feeling safe, the child feeling safe. Uh, and the therapist was there to be able to show that everything was functioning, which made it uh, a lot easier. There was less stress uh, from everyone because we didn't, ha you know, we didn't have to have the chair set up and all this stuff since we were running into some problems. We eventually fixed the problems on the chair and we were able to do the assessment, but we already had figured out what the driver controls were gonna be with. So again, no chair here. I'm able to see what it, what it is and how, what functions. So the last thing I wanna show you is that we were also able to do a joystick. So I'm gonna just program the joystick real quick and then uh, we'll be right back. So now we've plugged in a uh, joystick, an iDrive joystick and I've got the diagnostic view and you can see here, again, no chairs plugged in here, but we're able to show the function of the joystick, which is really great yesterday because uh, the therapist said, I think he could do a joystick. Um, and instead of, again, trialing something and struggling and, and, and we had a lot of people in this room, so there's gonna be a lot of feedback. We're able to prove uh, that he was gonna struggle a little bit with the joystick. He could only do the do joystick in one direction which would have been okay because we could have given it to him like in a forward direction and then done the switches in another uh, to give him, you know, the turns. So again, this made it really easy to assess. I didn't need a chair to, to do the assessment for a child. Uh, I could have done it um, in, in, a, in a different type of setting too, in a different type of environment. Uh, we've done assessments also in beds where somebody, didn't, we didn't have to put them in the chair just so we could see some hand movement. Uh, and you're able to show that they can trigger, you know, do the cause and effect on and off stop and go type of uh, effect. So uh, it was a very successful assessment with the new iDrive. Uh, so it gave us an opportunity to show that. Everybody was really excited about the remote stop feature too. And that's a great safety feature that we're promoting now with the new iDrive. So I hope this helps. We're gonna do a lot of these little short videos uh, to kind of inspire the group and uh, let you know what we're doing. So happy selling guys. And we appreciate all the effort out there in the field. So thank y'all.